Hi, I'm Noelle from Petiti Garden Centers, and we're here at our Bainbridge location, and we're gonna talk to you about butterfly gardening and plants that you should put in your garden. It's actually um, National Pollinator Week, usually the midweek in June, and it's also perennial week, so it's just a great time to get out there and plant in the garden. Um, with, with butterflies, in particular, you want to plan your garden and select plants where you're going to have early, mid, and late bloomers. So you can see here on the table, there's assortment of different perennials. We have some herbs here too. I have a spirea shrub behind me as well. And so all of those plants, as you can tell, there's some foliage right now, some flowering, and as they go into flowering phases, that really extends the season for butterfly nectar and also for their host plants. So you actually want those two things. You want nectar-rich plants and you want host plants as well. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. So do think about early, mid, and late season bloomers and the nectars and the host plants. Now, some of you probably know that, you know, flowering plants are great for the butterflies, but the herb family is really, really great as far as a host plant is concerned. So if you have herbs like, let's say dill, chives, parsley even, those are great host plants. They are good herbs to grow in the garden or in a container, and you can grow them amongst perennials as well, and that'll really attract a lot of your butterflies into the garden. The other thing to look at is plants, flowering perennials that are actually in the mint family. So the mint family, of course, you've got your peppermint and your spearmint and all those good guys, but think about the flowering types that are out there. So for example, this is cat mint or nepeta. It is a great blue blooming plant out there, perennial plant that's really hardy, great long bloomer, awesome out in the landscape. This one's called um, Persian blue. And then you have in the mint family still, you have something like this pink agastaki in the back. Sometimes it's called false aesop. And that one, it comes in blue and pink and orange, all different colors there. They're a little bit more upright and taller, but again, great mint family plant. Something you might be a little bit more familiar with is bee balm or monarda. That's a wonderful mint and also um, some tall varieties, some short varieties, lots of different colors in that family. So again, all those mint families work out really, really well for attracting the butterflies. The next plant you should look for in the perennial garden is gonna be the daisy. Any perennial flower that produces a daisy type flower, bud, if you will, bloom, um, they'll have that nice central eye and then they'll have the, puddles, the petals right around. These types of plants are great for attracting butterflies. Not only are they a great landing spot and just kind of, they can stand around, sun their wings and so forth, but there's also a lot of nectar in these types of daisy plants. So you can look for Shasta daisies like this one. This is a great kind of fluffy one. It's called Freak. You can use blanket flower, which is on the far side of the Shasta daisy. You can use cone flowers as well. They're just starting to come out. So again, you've got early blooming daisies, a little bit later blooming daisies as well. Um, the Coreopsis are fantastic as a butterfly plant, long bloomer, deer resistant too. Um, so there's quite a few daisies back here. Uh, Black-eyed Susans are just starting to pop out. And also look at the asters. The asters are gonna be one of those mid to late summer bloomers that really keeps the butterflies coming. So do look for the daisy family as well. The last family of plants that you should look for to attract butterflies is going to be a family of plants that produces a large cluster flower, okay? And it has a lot of small individual flowers creating that cluster. So I'm gonna give you some examples here. Uh, things like butterfly bush. How can we go wrong, right, with butterfly bush? So this is buzz butterfly bush. We've got a couple different colors here, a lavender and a raspberry. But if you look close at those flowers, they're a panicle type flower, but they have hundreds of little tiny flowers with a lot of nectar in them. So that's something that'll work great for you. There is a ground cover verbena called homestead purple. 
verbena as a perennial or as an annual will work again because look at all of those flowers that are very nectar rich. Behind me, I have pincushion. I also have the spireas. So your, your landscape spireas do really, really well. And again, produce dozens of flowers that are nectar rich for these uh, butterflies. Right in the background is gonna be your yarrow. This is a fantastic, really, really great smelling type of herb, okay? And yarrow, whether it's a yellow or a apricot delight, great, great plant to attract those butterflies. So if you keep in mind that they do like the herb family, they definitely like the mint family, they love daisies as well, and they love plants that have, you know, big clustered blooms with lots of small, tiny flowers, you'll be set. Just pick the ones that are early, mid, and late season blooming. Some of them will make great host plants for those caterpillars and you're ready to go. Enjoy your butterfly garden.